Alright, I'm doing my presentation on Mary Cover Jones. She was born September 1st, 1897. And, so, and um, the first college she attended was Vesley College. At Vesley College, she took every psychology course offered except one. Cover graduated from Vesley in 1919. And that year, she also attended a weekend lecture given by behaviorist John B. Watson in New York City. This lecture, in which he described the little average study undertaken with Rosalie Ro Rayner, a Vesley graduate and friend of Cover's, seeming in her desire to pursue graduate work in psychology. She went on to go to Columbia, Columbia University. Cover began graduate school at Columbia University in 1919 and completed her master's degree by the summer of 1920. In 1923, she was appointed associate in psychological research at the Institute of the Ed Educational Research, Columbia University's Teacher College. During this time, she conducted her study of Peter, which is like a most which is the study she's most known for. Briefly, Cover Joan treated Peter's fear of white rabbit with Peter's she Jones treated Peter's fear of a white rabbit with a variety of fear reducing procedures. The most successful procedure was that of direct conditioning, in which a pleasant stimulus food was presented simultaneously with the rabbit. As the rabbit was gradually brought closer to him in the presence of his favorite food, Peter grew more tolerant of the rabbit and was able to touch it without fear. After publishing these results, in 1924, Jones completed her dissertation work on the development of early behavioral patterns in young children. In the summer of 1927, Jones and her family, she now had two young daughters, packed their bags and headed with her husband, Harold, had been offered a position at, as the director of research at the recently established Institute for Child Welfare at the University of California, Berkeley, in a faculty position in the Department of Psychology. Jones took the position as research associate and soon became involved in one of three studies conducted through the Institute. Her involvement with and commitment to the Oakland Growth Study colored the rest of her career. The Oakland Grove study, study, which is also known as OGS, began in 1932 and was designed to follow a group of approximately 200 fifth and sixth grade students from puberty through adolescence. In fact, several follow-up studies were undertaken as members of this group, moved well into middle and older adulthood. A feat larger, largely um, reason for it is to Jones and personal relationship with the project members. Many of the study members became her friends and benefit from her support and generosity of spirit. Jones published over a hundred studies using data from, from OGS. In 1952 at age 56, Jones was appointed assistant professor of education at Berkeley despite having lectured in the Department of Psychology for several years. Strict anti-neopo rules still precluded her appointment to the psychology department because of her husband's position there. And that year, she and Harold produced the first educational television course in child psychology. In 1959, one year before her retirement, she became a full professor. In 1960, she served as the president of the Division of Developmental Psychology of the American Psych Psychological Association. Tragically, in that same year, just months until her retirement, Harriet suffered a fatal heart attack. Jones continued to work productively after Harriet's death and received the G. Stanley Award for APA in 1968. In the Keystone Address, the first in 1974, Jones offered this um, assessment of her career and her personal theoretical outlook. Jones died in Santa Barbara, California in July 22, 1987. She was almost 91 years old. Minutes before she passed away, she said to her sister, I, still, I am still learning about what is important in life. 
Jones was a pioneer in the field of behavior therapy and made a rich contribution to the outstanding understanding of develop, uh, the development across the lifespan. She was considered the mother of the field of behavior therapy.